Hi, and welcome back to another Creations with Christina episode. Today we're going to be making a shaped card using the um, Cricut Gypsy, and we're going to be using the Country Life Cricut cartridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my cart uh, cartridge here just by tapping down in the corner. And we're going to be using this strawberry right here. So I'm going to be making a sh uh, shaped card with that. So I'm just going to hit the shift key and I'm going to use, or the shadow key rather, and I'm going to use the shadow feature of this to make the base of my card. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my mat. And I've already went ahead and figured this out. It's going to, um, I'm going to select my height and make this 3.90. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just move this right up to this corner, go over to my advanced tab and hit my copy key, and I'm going to zoom in by tapping the silver button here and tapping the screen, and then holding down the silver button on the bottom, I'm just going to scroll over. And then I'll select my strawberry just so I can get it to overlap. This is the way I found to be the easiest to do my shaped cards. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit my little flip key, and I'm just going to flip it in the other direction, and then use my directional arrows to move it over. So what I'm going to do is make sure they're just overlapping just a little bit. I'm going to hit my top key, uh, silver key, to zoom back out, go back to my basics tab, and select my group key. And then I'm going to select, since my first strawberry is already selected, I'm going to select my second strawberry, and now they're grouped together. And when I move them, they'll move all at the same time. So now that they're selected, I'm going to head back over to advanced and hit my weld key. And you'll see when I tap off of it, it turns red. So that'll be the base of my card. Now I already selected everything to be, uh, or for this to be 3.9 inches, so I'm just going to tap anywhere on my screen and select my height of 3.9, and now everything that I add to my mat will be come in at that right size. So I'll just head back over to my Country Life cartridge. I'm going to turn off my shadow key, and I'm going to select my strawberry, and it's going to come right in at 3.9 inches, so you'll see that it fits perfectly in my shadow. So I'll just put this right down here. I'm going to tap on the screen again. And then I'm going to go ahead and select my shift key and select my layer. This is the one that will go underneath the strawberry. So this one I'm going to cut out in green. And this one I cut out in a black with little um, white circles. And I'm going to do the other part to this as well in the black and little white circles. So I'm going to hit the layer one key. I'm going to turn off my shift key and select that one. And since I'm both cutting both of them out in the same uh, paper, I'm just going to go ahead and put them all in this corner, and then I'll just put my paper on the mat to go with that. So the other thing we need to do is I'm going to add a second layer, so I'm just going to hit the little plus key up in the corner, and I added a layer too. I'm going to go back over to my keypad here, turn off the layers key. Oop, I'm going to turn back on the layers key, and select layer two and select the strawberry itself that has little holes. And that'll get cut. I'm going to put that up in this corner. So this is a whole separate mat. So the other thing I want to do is I want to create a, since I'm using a black cardstock for the base of my card, I want to have a um, cutout to go in the inside where I have a place to stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to head back over to my cartridge. I'm going to turn off all of my feature keys, select my strawberry one more time, and then I don't want it to be 3.9 inches because it's not going to, um, the part of the leaf for this uh, strawberry will kind of go into the fold of the card. So I am going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to use my size keys right here. And I'm going to see if 3.78 will work. I just tapped it down once. So I'm going to zoom in. And because I have layer 1 showing, I can go ahead and line it up and see if it'll fit. So it still kind of goes into the fold, so I'm going to go ahead and size that down one more time. So we're at 3.70 now, and I think 3.70 is going to work perfectly. So I'll cut this piece out here in white, so I'll just put this down here. So I'm going to turn this off just so you can see what the mat looks like. I'm turning off layer 1 by selecting the eyeball. Now you can see that mat layer 2, or mat 2, just has these two images on it. it makes it a little easier to see. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. Now I did not cut out... Um, let's see, I'll show you which one I didn't cut out. 
I didn't cut out the leaf to the stem. I'm just going to leave that because I'm actually going to put a bow there and you won't see it anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. So let's go ahead and start putting our card together. Okay, so I have all of my pieces cut out. I have my card base, which I cut out in a black card stock. Um, I have my bottom layer, which is the full strawberry. I cut this out in Simply Chartreuse uh, paper tray and card stock. And then I have my strawberry itself, and this I cut out with some October afternoon, um, I think it was, uh, I think Modern uh, Modern Homemaker, it's from the 8x8 pad. And then my bottom layer, which are the little white, uh, the black with the white circles on it, is cut from a piece of scrap uh, pattern paper I had. I believe it was Bow Bunny's Petal Pushers paper. I have my white piece that I cut out. This is what's going to go on the inside of the card. And then I just have some embellishments here that I'm going to go ahead and put on my card as well. So to get started, I'm going to do start with my bottom layer and work my way up. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere down my two pieces. In the book, it cuts it out, or in the manual, it shows that it cuts it out in two different pieces because they use two different colors. So, But I just decided to go with one, uh, one solid color in the background. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some adhesive here and adhere that down. And this piece is going to go, and I'm going to do this upside down just so I can line it up. So that's going to go right down the bottom here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my other piece. And that'll go right next to that. Missed the little corner, so I'm just going to use my Zig 2 way glue pen just to get underneath there. There we go. For this piece, I'm going to mostly do um, my Tombow glue or Tombow mono adhesive. And then I'll come in and get some of these smaller parts with my Zig 2 way glue pen. Especially right around the edges. Okay, so that should be pretty good. So we'll go ahead and adhere that down. I'm going to start at the bottom and just line everything up. So that's my strawberry. So what I'm going to do is use some pop dimensionals and adhere this. I just folded my card in half and then I'll adhere this right onto the top of my card. Now some of the little stems of the strawberry stick off but I'm fine with that. I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm just going to use, and these are pretty thick um, pop dots. I'm just trying to use them up before I start a new package of my Stampin' Up! ones. And I'll put some of these little ones Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just line this up right onto the front of my card. So there's my card. Now what I did was I took some seam binding and I tied a little bow and I'm just going to use some pop dots for that. So I'm just going to roll, these are pretty big, I'm just going to roll this a little bit. And I'll set that right there. And then I also took a red button, I'm not sure where this button came from, it was in my, my jar, and just took some uh, twine and tied a little bow, and that's going to go right in the center of my seam binding. So I'll use a pop dot in the back of that, and that's going to go right there. So that's my card so far. So I'm also going to add a little, um, a couple gems right down the bottom here, and I'm going to use some... Um, I'm going to use my iRock and I have some Swarovski crystals in this little container 
and this is just one of those Craftmates lockable containers. Um, I got it at Joann's a while ago. I think it was fairly inexpensive. So I'm just going to use, I have two different size red ones. I think I'm going to use the smallest red ones. So I'm going to get three of those out. And then those will get lined up right down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and set them in place before I... You hear them down here. Oops. So I'm going to get them in place. And... I've used my iRack before, but basically what you do, there's a little switch, you just, uh, it's battery operated, you just push the switch down and hold the button in, and this little red light will come on, and I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds to get it, my um, tip heated up here, because my Swarovski crystals are the hot fix ones, and when uh, you touch the tip of this to the crystals, it melts the adhesive that's on the back of the crystals. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Hear those down. Okay. All right, so that's the front of my card. And you can see my crystals are pretty well here down. They're still drying a little bit, but... So there you go, that's the front of my card. And now for the inside, which you guys know I never really do the inside of my card very often, so a special treat for you today. I'm just going to go ahead and take my white card stock and adhere that down, but before I do that I'm going to go ahead, well no, I'll adhere it down first. My white card stock is Nina um, card stock. I have had this for a while. I got it originally for doing my Copic markers, but I really don't like it for Copic markers. I prefer the Paper Tray Ink white cardstock for that. So I kind of have tons of it, so I'm just, I use it now for just my everyday, everyday card making and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this right to the center of my card, or the inside of my card. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to use two inks. I'm going to use Jenny Bolin um, fountain pen and cough syrup. And then I have one of the Paper Tree Inks flower fu or Fruit Fusions, uh, Berry, Strawberry. And I thought I'd use the sentiment from this. And I'm going to use the Thank You Very Much. Or should I? Well, I could do this either way. There's I'm Very Sorry, You're Very Sweet, and Thank You Very Much. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'll do the You're Very Sweet just to have that in my stash. Let me see. I have a lot of thank you cards. So, okay, so I'm going to stamp the You're Very Sweet. I'm just putting this down on my craft mat here and I'll get it lined up straight. And then I'll stamp the You're Sweet in the black ink. And I'm going to stamp that right in the center, just like that. And then the berry I'm going to do in the cough syrup. So we're just going to go ahead and adhere this down. Okay. Ink up that. And put the berry, which is a little... Just like that. So now I have a card all ready for when I need it done in this little strawberry. So that's our card for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time.